Hello guys and welcome to my channel Earthfeed, I'm Aisha Centric. In this video, I'm going to show you how you could draw an image in Creator. So, um, just select new file here so that we can start. And this window will show up. So you could copy my settings right here or you could just go with the settings that you have. So, just click, just click create here. So I'm going to show you uh, the image that we're going to work with. So let me just minimize this and I put it safely on the desktop. So let's wait for it to load. As you can see right here, our image isn't bright at all. We have a, a front character and we have some background characters which aren't bright. So uh, what this is going to do, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bright out these background characters and leave up this one to stand out using the bright effect with creator so let's open up creator and uh what we need what i need you to do right here to bring the image in creator let's let's just move creator aside a bit and close this and we could just drag and drop it right here so we could drag and drop these options will show up and i expect you to click insert as a new layer so once you click insert as a new layer boom we got it in creator so let me just um maximize creator so that it can fill up the whole screen so we can see uh unfortunately it's not centered well how are we gonna fix this go to your left side you can see there's a plus tool uh a move tool which you could get by pressing t let's let me just click this and go to my image here so what this does is it could actually help me center this so what i need actually to do is just to center um our character right here so we have centered our character guys we have centered our character okay um we have two layers as you can see on your light screen here we have two layers we have the background layer which is quite unnecessary and i'm just going to delete this you could also delete this if you want to so what we work with is this layer that we have just added which is of course our image so right here click left click on that on this layer and duplicate layer or mask so it's ctrl j on the keyboard i've duplicated uh the layer the image that is and we have two of them in creator so this is good for what we're going to do you could just um you could switch the first one off or switch it on it's up to you so let's um click the the one that is below you could also we could also try to rename this let's name this to one enter um uh, i'm pressing fn and fl it's just it's literally okay sorry okay uh what's clear um f2 that is f2 on the keyboard let's press it to layer layer one layer two so let's click on layer one and go to filter so this is where you find the bra option so i'm just going to go on filter and bra i'll click bra i'll increase this so that it could actually look like your brought something i've increased this to 25 let's see how that goes okay so i've clicked bra you can see that i've already brought this just because i brought it on uh, layer one once layer two is ahead of it so let's just um switch layer two off and you could see the image is bright of course this is not um what we want to just do uh, I will show you how you can make the middle character, the scale, stand out whilst the list is, is broad. So, let's uh, close the broad version. Let's call the let's, we have closed the broad version by switching it off. And uh, what you now need to do is select the uh, layer 2 and go to your brushes. This is the left side of your screen or you can just press B. So, I've clicked a brush and the brush that I'm using right now is adjust lighten and it's on fx you can find this on fx so it's adjust lighten um lighten that is so you could just go ahead here above uh you could say set eraser mode obviously you could also do this with an eraser but it's okay you just do this so let's control the brush size because we want to be able to erase parts that we don't want so i've just um size i've limited it to 319 px pixels that is so let's drop this off it's basically just uh, erasing the first layer the parts that you don't want to appear 
on on your image so basically what this is doing is that whenever we what we're doing here is we're erasing the parts that we actually want to be proud as you can see if i could make the um layer one reappear you could see that it's now literally bright because we have removed um we have removed some parts of the above layer so let's just continue doing this until the girl is left until it's the girl the only one who is left so uh, just this you know the good thing about this image i'm going to leave it uh, the link, uh, the download link in the description. The good thing about this image is that uh, you don't actually need to concentrate much just because some parts of it are yellow and it's pretty much okay to uh, not make it clear at all. I made a mistake there, so I'm just gonna back it up a little by pressing that. It's an, an it's an undo button, you find it everywhere, even in. Um, even in web so it's gonna take me a while to finish but uh, the outcome is going to be nice the longer you take on it the better the outcome so let's just remove any traces of other people okay so i'm thinking that this is a game character from fortnite i haven't played that game yet can you imagine that yet i'm a gamer okay so we're almost done here and i'm thinking it's kind of okay so let's make layer 1 reappear by clicking the, this I button. So as you can see, uh, still uh, there's a price here we need to lob off. Okay, so as you can see right here, um, we have Brad at the background. I'm zooming in and zooming out using my loading by loading my mouse wheel. So as you can see right here, this is actually a different image from the previous one because the previous one actually didn't have these characters blurred out. So this is how you guys you could actually blur a photo in um, Krita and it works wonders compared to Photoshop. I don't even know how to use Photoshop but I'm, I'm a Krita genius. Yeah, yes, I'm calling myself a genius. I've been doing this for quite a while. So guys, you could do me a favor by subscribing to my channel. As you can see right here, I've just shown you completely for free how you could actually quickly blur an image in Creator with... Um, and it's a very easy uh, way to do this. And this uh, tool is actually free, completely free, hassle-free, not like Photoshop where you have to pay monthly. Jesus, I'm a student. Okay, so... Um, don't forget to save, you can save this file as a PNG by going to save us. Defaultly, it will save as a clear document, but let's save this as a PNG. So, um, I, I'm just naming this uh, bra, I'm calling this bra, I'm going this bra 3, 4, that is. So, I've saved that, and it, is, it has been saved. So, let's compare the two images. Let's compare the two images. There's this other one, let me call it, oh. We need to try to save it again. So let's call this bra bra five bra five. Okay, and let's go and create a save it as, as bra, making sure that it's actually clear. Okay, yeah, here here it was my mistake. PNG saved it as a PNG. Okay, so let's save it as a proper PNG. Waiting for it to save, waiting for it to save, waiting for it to save, let's close this. Uh, waiting for it to save, waiting for it, okay, it's done. So, uh, you could see, you could see clearly, you could see clearly that the two images are kind of different. Let's, let's actually preview them. So, this is the image that we brought and this is the image that wasn't brought. Of course, uh, I will change the resolution a little, but you see that she's standing out in this image rather than in this image. So we have actually managed to blur out the background on this image using Creator, which is completely free and open source. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You need to hit the subscribe button because I'm going to give you a lot more awesome crew tutorials like how I made, uh, what is it, how I made several awesome images using Creator and artworks that are top-notch. Bye.